will this be the final game or will we go on to a third round? We'll find out here soon enough. Cross spots this time. And, um, well, I won't make too many, I won't over predict here, but uh, it's not uncommon for Protoss to do some type of technical rush build um, while they take that mineral natural. Taryn, um, usually going to go for the uh, more desirable expansion, the uh, expansion with the Vespian Gas, guys. Their Vespian Gas, pretty critical um, in this matchup for the Terran. Also critical for the Protoss, but not critical until the. Uh, Late game to mid late game. Now we do see the depot here put at the entrance. Are these kind of close? So we're gonna probably put, we will probably see some type of wall in. So typical builds so far. No fast nexus for the Protoss. It doesn't look like Yoon's gonna check the center. And the panda bear guy will remain undisturbed. Hey, by the way, my boss told me that uh, somebody on the forums uh, said, uh, what was it? I think that it's actually a polar bear? No, no, no. No, this is not true. It is a uh, it is a panda bear guy. We are in Korea right now. We are not on the South Pole. Therefore, he's going to be the panda bear guy. When they start playing StarCraft, uh, where there are polar bears, uh, then I maybe will give them some credit. Until then, those things can stay on Coca-Cola commercials. Well, it does look like Memory is going to go for the wall and. Probably going to get the factory out then before the first Marine. And uh, you can see that unit spotted the wall. And I don't know, can the probe fit through there? I don't believe so. No. You're too fat, probe. Nothing personal, though. Barely saving that SCV memory. We'll send that back to uh, the minerals. Here we see uh, Yoon going for a pretty typical build, uh, fast uh, Dragoon range. Very common, you know, Protoss really need that Dragoon range early on um, to combat uh, any Terran unit. Dragoon range is such a powerful uh, upgrade to have. As we can see, common uh, evasion technique here, going around the back, going around the minerals in that circle. Looks like the SCB is now going to evac, I guess, or die. And it just depends, because he's a glass is half empty kind of SCB. Robo base. So once again, Yoon going to go for a similar build order uh, from what we saw last time. Now he did bring another SCV. He wants to see. Okay, yeah, he spotted the expansion. Yoon going for the fast expo. So we may see uh, the Terran be aggressive here. And note that Memory did not get a single Marine here. He really wants to get the factory out as soon as possible. Oh, he's got to be careful, though. Oh! You cannot afford to lose that first tank. If he loses his tank, it's going to be over. The Dragoon's now attacking the depot. He does not want to let those Dragoons in. 
That was close. And um, let's see here. What else can I tell you? Well, it looks like he's actually not going to lift that. Instead, he's going to uh, go the easy way and take the smaller expansion. Nothing really wrong with that. Um, we have seen Terrans uh, do the opposite, though, and lift. Although, you know what? It's very possible he may actually lift that command center off in a minute or two here when he feels the low ground is safe. Maybe not, though. Now we see upgrades in both the factories. I think we could see a fairly early push. Doesn't necessarily mean that's going to be the case, but it's certainly a possibility. And with Protoss double expanding like this, um, I wouldn't be surprised. Now we do see the engineering bay. Okay, and Terran will be pushing. Very aggressive push. You cannot afford to lose in the first push, though. It can really hurt you, unless you're Berserker. And it looks as though Yuan was actually going to do a triple expo. Now, Memory has got to push with a lot of caution here. Yuan getting into the defensive position. He's got to be ready. Can Yoon hold off this push? Can Memory make it work? Nice micro there by Memory, pulling back the wounded tank. Oh my god, Yoon, uh, really in hot water now. M Vulture Mines getting planted uh, at a rate that uh, I don't know if he could stop. And more and more Vultures are now reinforcing this. More mines being planted. Although it looks like uh, he may be able to hold this up. The tank's getting pretty low on HP, but Yoon might be able to hold it up. Oh my gosh. Yoon actually may hold this off if uh, Memory can't reinforce it. But by the way, Memory is expanding again. You madman. Sieging up the tank. There's so many mines, they can really cover those Dragoons. Now going up into the back. This push may be effective. What Yoon really needs right now is a shuttle. Oh, now sneaking by the Dragoons. Oh my gosh. Unbelievable. And, wow. I don't know. Okay, he's got the shuttle out now. And we can see the tank is already unseaged. And it looks like Memory has thrown a smoke bomb and disappeared like a ninja. This is amazing. He did just enough damage, and then he got out of there right away. That is a sign of a good Terran player. Not only when he knows when he can push, even at risky moments, but when he can stop pushing and uh, pull out and not be damaged. Uh-oh. Not good for you, Probe. Well, now Memory already has another expansion. He is now even in expansions with the Protoss. Well, it looks like Yoon's now going to try to turn around here and be aggressive. It's his turn to go on the offensive. He has the shuttle. He could try to do a late-game Bulldog a rush. Bulldog Rush. I'm sorry. I got to say it again. I hate that name. Why don't they just call it the Wombat Rush, really? Oh! Takes out that tank. He's trying to move in here now. Oh! Deflected by a, con by a, a depot over here. I think he may go in for the attack anyways. Here comes you now. But he's got to be careful with that shuttle. 
No, not good. He really got that shuttle softened up. And once again, Memory's Vultures take out that probe. Memory is completely out of control this game. He is a beast. Wow. All right, well, Memory is macroing up a fierce amount of units. We could see him push out here pretty soon. Yoon is still trying to get a hold of this expansion over here at the left, but the Vultures are just preventing the probe from actually getting there. The probe is so fragile uh, when it comes to uh, taking damage from the Vultures. Only two hits, and it's dead. And now it looks like Yoon is going to take this expansion uh, over here at the bottom right. And uh, I think we're going to see that next push here very soon. Memory controlling his opponent with the Vulture so that this way uh, Yoon will not get a healthy surround when the push commences. Basically boxing you in, into a corner so that uh, they cannot get that good surround. The surround is so powerful in this matchup. And here come the Vultures again, sneaking inside of here. Yoon was going to try to block the entrance with the pros, but the Vultures have already slipped through. Although, um, yes, they have managed to get by. Uh, the attack did not do as much damage as I think you and I thought it was going to do. Which is not good for memory, but I think memory's still uh, very strong right now. We haven't seen any specific tech coming out of the Protoss, just the standard low tier units. Okay, now we're seeing it. Arbiters are the road that. Well, that's the road he's going to follow. And, um, well, here comes the moment we've been waiting for. He is pushing out now. Or at least it looks like it. It may be an attempt to bait the Protoss army into attacking. I'm not sure. And uh, where is he going to go? He's going to go on the left side. Yoon does not appear to be prepared. Yoon forcing the Terran to siege, then retreating to slow down the push. Now Yoon's going to have to get a lot of units to hold this off. It's not clear if Yoon has enough, though. He may very well have enough. Yoon did this to Nana. He could very easily do this to memory. Here come the vultures now. Just around the tanks to take out the uh, zealots. Oh, nice zealot bomb, though. If he can secure this expansion over here, the one constructing in the middle left. And um, it looks like he's managed to penetrate it. Yoon is going to sack it. He does not want to actually attack it. And, uh, nice, very nice, using that mine to take a lot of hits uh, on the Terran units here. Wow. But take a look at that. Looks like uh, Memory's going to manage to take out that Nexus in time. Yoon needs an expansion pretty badly over here. Memory, once again, knows exactly when to pull out. And that skill is important, uh, not just in StarCraft. Here we see um, 
Well, it looks like uh, looks like uh, it looks like Yun's actually going to go in for the all-out attack right now. The shuttle's out, but no, it's not enough. He has to back off once again. Panda Bear cuddling up with the tanks. Oh, I like you. No, but they do not like him. They are going to move away. Okay, here we have once again another pretty big attack here. The Vulture's getting a little bit too far ahead of the tanks now. He's going to have to throw down a skin. We don't see a science. Uh, Besselier, not the best stasis either here coming from Yoon. And oh my god, Yoon has so many units though. Where did those zealots come from? I think Yoon... Wow, I am surprised. I guess... I guess memory may get Yoon to this game. Just like Nada. Even though Yoon doesn't have um, the expansion advantage, he is always able to muster up so many units. Sometimes it just doesn't make sense. And we have um, the factories pumping. You know, one thing though is that even though Yoon won that battle, if Memory can maintain the map control that he's had this entire game, he can just pick off another expansion uh, here and there. And uh, in the long run, he will uh, get ahead of Yoon, even though Yoon somehow uh, manages to get this ungodly amount of units that seem to come from nothing. We can see that, uh, well, it looks like he's going to be trying to take it. Well, he's, he's trying to take that island at least. And as you can see also on the bottom right side of the mini map, uh, the Terran is uh, expanding. We also just briefly got a shot of that. I'm curious as to what both players' uh, food count is at right now. Because it's difficult to say who has the food advantage. I would assume it's memory. And I, I think it, if it's not, it will be very, very soon here. Um, we can see uh, Protoss now taking the island because he really doesn't have any control of the land uh, section on the map. We really need to see some storms here from the Protoss, maybe some storm drops um, on these expansions if he wants to catch up. Whoa, that did, that did nothing. Although, it, uh, well, it did more damage to the vultures. Is he going to be able to get uh, over here with these uh, Arbiters? He needs to start using Recall, too, I think. I think that would be wise. But at the same time, I think his food count may be so far behind now. Uh, from memory, it's going to be difficult to recover. And as you can see, um, memory is kind of spread out in the middle right side of the map. He just wants to be in a good position to defend from anywhere. He doesn't quite want to do this. He's essentially trying to starve out the Protoss. Oh, nice SCB block. That was pretty cool. Those zealots could have done some damage, but no, memory's micro is just too good. And here comes the recall. Oh, God! Blowing up about a third of the recalled units. Now it looks like memory will have to go up here and defend with that, but it looks like memory's actually splitting up his army in half. Oh, half of his army going up to the top right to save his main, the other half going towards Yun's base for a push. Um, obviously memory's gonna hold this off. I don't believe too much damage was dealt either with the recall. Yeah, Yoon's army is just getting smaller and smaller and smaller. 
Yoon probably should not have recalled in such a predictable location. Because as you can see, there are just a ton of uh, there are just a ton of turrets and uh, spider mines there. Yoon is rapidly running out of uh, <laughs> of options right now, and I don't know what he's going to be able to do to recover. And now you can see Memory has finally decided this is the moment that I can attack. Taking out, is he gonna be able to pull this off? Actually, Memory's uh, units are very, very spread out. It's like a parade. Nice drop here. This will also be very bad for Yoon. And I think that uh, Yoon is being attacked at too many locations at once. Plus two attack, plus one armor. Not the same upgrades we saw last time. He was really out of control with the upgrades last time, but I think Memory's course of action was map control. And he is getting closer to the final expansion. Yoon has to get Memory off of his back now. EMP on the Arbiter. Wow. Okay, here it is. Can Yoon hold off this attack? It doesn't look like it right now. No more, well, hardly any Zealots. And there's no way Memory is going to win this game. Another expansion for Memory. He is just too strong. He has too much of the map. And the Protoss shuttle uh, not doing anything over there. It looks like Yoon's going to go for a counterattack, hoping that the Terran will be baited out. Oh, no. Losing an Arbiter. Looks like Yoon will manage to get this uh, expansion. Although, Yoon is going to lose one of his last expansions over here at the middle uh, left. And, um, well, memory's pretty spread out, but uh, at this point in time, you can afford to be. Another expansion goes down for the Protoss, and um, too many expansions are up for memory. I have no idea what on earth Yoon could do right now to win this. And there's the final expansion about to be taken out. Meanwhile, the final attack from Yoon about to be taken out as well. Looks like he did, manage, nope, did not manage to quite get the Templar. Whoa! I don't think that was supposed to happen with those mines. And Yoon's going to have to back out now. And I expect GG any second now. And you can see the frustration in Yoon's face. He will not make it to the final 16, unfortunately. He has managed to come so far in this event, but it will all end here. And I think, yeah, I think that's going to be it. Oh, look out! I think, um, man, these girls are fast, man. I mean, talk about high APM uh, face hiding technique here. Now, yeah, okay. We know how this is going to end. Expect GG, maybe 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, negative 1. I don't know why he hasn't typed it in yet. This is over. But good game. Indeed. Yoon is a very worthy opponent. Memory did what Nada could not. And there it is, good game. Well played by memory. Congratulations to him, you can see he's very happy. And he will go to the final 16.
which, by the way, starts next week. I can't wait to cast it for you. And there, unfortunately, is our loser, you. But I think we'll probably see more of him in future events. He's very skilled. Uh, he's definitely got the talent. And with talent on his side, I think um, I think he has the potential to be a very good Protoss player in the future. Excuse me, he already is a very good Protoss player, but I think he could get even better. Well, that does it for today or tonight, uh, wherever you are. We got some more games coming up later on. There's Yoon. He might actually be rewatching the replay. Yoon really knowing when he could push and then pulling out at the exact safe moment. I am pretty impressed with uh, with memory. Unfortunately for Yoon, um, he just didn't have it. Well, I hope you enjoyed the games. I had a lot of fun uh, broadcasting them to you. Please tell everybody you know to tune in. Here are the results of today. Flash 2-0 against Taya. Child 0-2 against Lucifer. Anytime 2-1 against Dragoon. Yoon down 0-2 versus Memory. Feel free to rewatch any of the games. Uh, they're all up at the GOMTV.net site. GOMTV.net, of course, the English version of uh, all the GOM StarCraft games. GOMTV.com, the Korean version. And, uh, yeah, definitely, uh, definitely check out um, all the good games. Check out all the bad ones. Hey, we'll, we'll take hits, man. You check it out. We can show the sponsors we got more hits. Well, um, next week's games, starting at the top 16. By the way, the map lineup for next week, Andromeda, Othello, and then Blue Storm. We're going to have Saver, Savior <laughs> excuse me, uh, versus Never, a Zerg versus Terran. Then we're going to have Violet, a Protoss, versus Shuttle, a Protoss. Jadong, a Zerg versus Jangbi, uh, a Protoss, obviously. And finally, Lomo, a Terran versus Odin, a Zerg. Those should be some pretty fun games. I'm looking forward to casting them for you. Definitely tune in next week. If you can't tune in, watch the recordings. Uh, I know where people were asking about um, the website I'm making. It should be done before the next two weeks, but uh, it's kind of going to be under construction even after it's done. We're going to try to add a few more features on there. Uh, get some easy methods to learn how to play StarCraft if you're interested in picking up the game for fun or for sport. Um, we're also going to have a replay database. Um, we can get replays of me, but also replays of other top gamers. Uh, what else are we going to have on there? We're going to have a store where you can buy clothing. Um, some other cool stuff. Links to all my old uh, casts, all that jazz. Definitely check out that website whenever that website is finished. Sorry. I got a lot of stuff going on down here. But uh, we will definitely have that up eventually. Thank you to our sponsors at Avertech Intel. You guys are the best. Go buy an Intel. Anything. Go get it. And then go watch that commercial with those four crazy Intel uh, Korean guys. That guy with the blonde hair, man, he just, like, freaks me out, man. I mean, I don't think I will ever... Forget that commercial after I see him. All right. Well, um, I believe we're going to be closing this out here pretty soon. Thank you again for watching. Spread the word. And get ready next week for some very exciting games. This is Nick Tesla's plot, and we are in Seoul, Korea, the place where the alpha nerds exist. Playing the most manly game ever, StarCraft. Stay tuned for coming next time. Take care. Bye-bye.